Hello everybody, it's Freddy Gaming here and welcome to another video. In this video, I will be saying my thoughts on how free to play is this game. So yes, this is only my opinion and that's basically it. The video is not scripted, so I'm really sorry if I repeat myself a lot of the times. I'm really sorry about that. However, I just wanted to state my opinion about this because I know most players ask if this game is paid to win somehow or is it really free to play friendly or if you cannot really progress to the game if you don't pay and today I will answer all those questions and everything is gonna go well, I hope. Now, the first thing we have to look at is the banner shop aka the wishes where you can get characters and actual weapons every single wish every single one times one wish costs 160 primo gem now we do get right now because there's an event going on 160 primo gems daily every single day if you log in and then of course we have the the daily login as well we have the battle pass as you can see here, we have daily login, so basically you do get like 300 primo gems every like 7 days, which is quite cool actually, it is really good. So we all, again, like we get a lot of primo gems, and did the calculation, even if we just do the commissions, which are the daily quests basically of this game, there are 4 daily quests every single day in this game, if you do all of them and just log in daily, we will get at least 2 5 stars. I guarantee two five stars if you play for five months and that is excluding like legit excluding all of the chests all of the missions all of the everything else all of the side quests and so on and so forth by just logging in and doing the daily commissions and that means that yes i will say this game is not really and yes i will say that this game is pretty free to play friendly however i'm gonna make it into two groups the first group is that says I love this game because of the world and I can enjoy it with any character I want. And there the second group is the group that says, well, I cannot enjoy the game if I do not have all of the characters I want. Now, those types of players will say that this is not a real free-to-play friendly game. However, the first group, like me, I would say this is a free-to-play friendly game. Now, I do understand why some people won't say that. And this is because they enjoy playing with a lot of 5 stars. However, me personally, I enjoy playing with 4 star characters. Many 4 stars are even better than most 5 stars as well. Take Razor for example. I did a build, I did a guide, and I think he is one of the better DPS in the game. Especially since he is a 4 star and you can get his constellation up really really quick as well. So, if you get a like, max constellation Razor, he is better than most 5 stars, right? And to get a constellation most 5 stars, that is pretty... Like, I don't think many players have max Ventis. Max Ventis is pretty easy to get, to be honest, as well. But max, let's say, Chichis or someone that is not rated up, it is really hard to get. So, I guess you can say that it is not free-to-play friendly. If you just want to play with 5-star characters and you want to max them out, then yes, it is way too pay to win, right? Yeah, if you do want to max out 5 stars, and you cannot do that. Or you cannot even get all the characters in the game if you are free to play. However, if you are free to play, you can just reroll until you get a few characters that you want. Rerolling means basically, you get to AR7 on the new account, you get to AR7, roll a bunch of times, I think you can roll around 50 times. If you do not get the characters you want, you just create another character and do the same thing over and over again until you get what you need and this goes on for legit like every gacha game out in the world okay i know giant Rush, for example we didn't really need to do that because allies yes they are good but we we didn't get too much use of allies right especially in the beginning that's for giant Rush only though this game is mainly around characters and playing and creating teams around certain characters now con now continuing about is this game really free to play friendly or not now let's see what else we can get from the wishes except the characters yes that is weapons we can actually get a lot of four star and a lot of five star weapons just from doing this now the problem is they will keep on adding weapons and weapons and weapons in this banner uh, you cannot get any characters in this you can only get weapons now some people cannot play a character or their max potential cannot be unlocked without a 5 star, five star weapon. However, for example, let's say Fischl as a complete support, the Stringless, which is a 4 star bow, is really good. 
There are also Keqing, which is a 5 star character. The flute is one of, if not the best, weapon. So that means that, yes, even free to play players can use and can get really strong weapons because a lot of strong weapons are 4 stars. Let's, let's see Barbara, for example. Her two best weapons are the prototype weapon, which you can craft, and the other best weapon is this Trilling Tales of the Giant Slash, which is basically a 3 star weapon you get from Gacha. And as you can see here, I'm a complete free to play player and I have it maxed out when it comes to refinement. So there are a lot of characters, like a big amount of characters, that are good with just 3 or 4 star weapons and you can unlock their max potential with only 3 to 4 star weapons. So now that we got that out of the way, I, I will say this, me personally, I do not think uh, that this game is really pay to win when it comes to getting weapons. When it comes to getting characters, then yes, because you, a free to play player will never have all the characters in a game. That's just never gonna happen. Whatever you wanna do, you, you won't get that lucky and you won't have them. You won't have them all. Any, like, soon or ever. That's for sure. It's a gacha game. That never happens in a gacha game and we just have to deal with it. However, the weapons, as I said, you do not need all of the weapons in the game. And you can just get some 4 star weapons and make your 4 or 5 star characters extremely, extremely good and better if you got a 5 star weapon. Now, what else can you get with money except wishes, right? Except these wishes, except these characters and weapons. Now, we go to the shop over here and we see this right here and this right here, okay? Those are two things we can get. I'm gonna exit the shop and go to the battle pass as well. We can get this right here which is everything like here now this basically means you get a lot of resources you get a lot of mora if you do spend like what what it was ten dollars or fifteen dollars in the game and you do get a lot of weapon enhancement materials same as characters because we do get intertwined intertwined fate which are used to get uh, the characters now will you progress faster and will this matter a lot in the end game? No. Really no. I can say for sure no. Because there are a lot of players that are full free to play and have already gotten to really high air levels. And also, he have upgraded at least two characters to their maximum potential with just being free to play. Now, yes, I did say two characters. This game really does not require you to upgrade all four of the characters. It just requires you to upgrade two until this handbook thing tells you to upgrade more than just two characters, okay? So, for example, let's see, level up three characters to level 40. I will level up them to level 40 and that is pretty easy to do. But the next thing is gonna say, I, maybe, I'm not sure exactly, it is gonna say enhance one weapon to level 50. It's not gonna say enhance three weapons to level 50. So the game basically tells you, and the game also knows, for a free-to-play player, that you can actually enhance artifacts to level 12, uh, level 4, I mean, 12 of them, you can... So yeah, basically this means that the game wants you to upgrade 3 characters right now. But later on, when things get expensive, it will want you to upgrade 2, and maybe even 1 character. Now, why only 2 characters are needed? Well, it's basically because you need one DPS character, one main DPS, and then you need one support character, which is gonna be really strong, and it's gonna enable the DPS character to get his max potential and to do the most damage. For example, I use my Eon Barbara, Swisher Razor, and because of the weapon I get 48% damage increase, and also inflict vest status to enemies around me. I also have my E, which, of course, electrocutes enemies, and I just do electro damage, electro charge damage, as well as hit really hard with a 3 star weapon, keep in mind. And yeah, those are the two things you need. Now what about the two other characters? Those two other characters are mainly used either for exploring, for creating some elemental resonance, or even just using them for elements. For example, with Fischl and Kia, I'm creating Superconduct, then go to Barbara, use my E, and then straight go to Razor, making it so the enemies have 50% less physical defense, also I inflict vet status on enemies and I do electro charge attacks when I use my ultimate form, right? I get attack speed when I'm in ultimate form and also uh, with my E I get a lot of energy recharge and can basically have my ultimate up 
So this is one of the better teams you can get as a complete free-to-play player and includes two of my favorite characters, which are Razor and Barbara, which is insane for me. Now, come to think of it, yes, basically you can make any character in your game a DPS. Some are better than others, but with the right build, I might even do like a tier list on this. With the right build, I can make Kia my main DPS. Yes, I can, actually. Because most DPS characters just need an okay weapon that gives, let's say, attack or crit rate. For example, I have a Tracer weapon that gives attack, which is completely fine. The passive, I don't even care about it too much. Make it so the artifacts all have attack, crit rate, crit damage, some even maybe elemental mastery, depends on the character, and you can make any character be a beast. As I said, if I legit just switch all of my artifacts from Razor to Kia, Kia will do close to the same amount of damage to Razor, but of course, there are tier for this as well. Razor is definitely a better DPS than Kia, don't get me wrong, he is. However, that's not to say that Kia cannot do damage. Because yes, he can, even if he's one of the like least favorite characters in the game, or many tier lists say he's really bad, you can actually make him one of the better DPS, it's fine. It all depends on what build you're using. Which is my next point, artifacts, right? So let's go to the artifacts. Now artifacts over here, here are the artifacts, okay? Um, both pay to win players, aka whales, and... Free-to-play uh, players can get all the artifacts in the game, which are with RNG, right? With uh, random number generation or whatever it's called. It's random. Everything is random. How you get artifacts in this game is by opening chests, doing missions, which uh, the artifacts from missions are not random. They are, of course, you get exactly those things. However, doing bosses, you can get artifacts. You get two, three-star artifacts, four-star and five-star, depending on your AR level and word level, I mean. Not AR, but word level. And treasure collection cost is basically 40 resin. Now, the biggest difference, I think, the second biggest difference, the first biggest difference between pay to win or well people and free to play people is the, of course, gaining characters and weapons. And the second thing is resin. Now, you can replenish this resin six times a day. And if you do replenish six times a day, it's around 700 or 750 uh, primo gems, which a free to play cannot afford at all. And that basically means that whale people will have more artifacts than free-to-play people. However, that doesn't mean that a free-to-play can get really lucky and a whale cannot get a lucky at all. He will basically, for example, a free-to-play player can use all of these 120 resins and get two 5-star artifacts, while the, the whale player can use all of these refreshes and still not even get one 5-star artifact right so that's around again that is basically random it's not really guaranteed as the the characters you get because characters eventually yes every 90 pulls you get a five star guaranteed so a whale can get all the the five star characters if he spends enough however when it comes to resin and when it comes to artifacts which are probably the most important thing in the game um beside the character of course because yeah you, you do need some interesting team uh, to make uh, use of artifacts as well, because if you do not have a good team, then in no character will be good if you do not build a team around him. But the main point is that free-to-play players really can actually excel in this game, and it's completely fine if they play it. Now, I think I rambled on not too much, I guess, and I will say, again, I will repeat the same thing, the groups and the... Yeah, basically the groups. The first group, as we said, is the players like me, where I enjoy playing mostly with the 4-star characters instead of 5-star. As I said, the only 5-star I'm missing is Chi-Chi. I just want Chi-Chi and that's basically it. Maybe I will get it soon, who knows, RNG. But even if I don't, Kia is good enough for me right now. And then there's a second group, which is the group that really wants to play with all the characters, with all the different characters, and also and the 5 star characters especially. Now that group will say the game is pay to win, however I am not saying the game is pay to win and it's actually really free to play friendly. As I said you get a lot of free pools, a lot of free wishes just by playing the game, you do not need to spend and yes I will say this game is really free to play friendly, however I do understand people that say that it's not because as I said I did like 
make two groups of people one of them says free to play friendly the other says it's not free to play friendly and those two groups have different thoughts and so on and so forth my thoughts are that this game again i repeat sorry for this but it's not scripted i repeat that for me personally i do think that it is free to play friendly it is really free to play friendly and yeah that's basically it uh, again i should mention this to to progress through the story or anything like that you do not need to pay for the game at all you you just need to spend wisely and that's basically it even if you don't really spend wisely in the beginning it's fine don't worry about that i know i have made a couple of mistakes on my first account and on this second account i have made mistakes don't get me wrong and we're still doing perfectly fine exploring the world i need to get a bunch of animoculus too which i will get soon but yeah uh, that's basically it now i do want to say i'm live streaming this on this account uh every monday wednesday and sunday and now so probably close to every single day except saturday it all depends on when i have classes late night so it all depends so if this video goes live there is a high chance i might be streaming and on this uh, account we are doing the one life challenge as you can see i do want to explain what the one one life challenge is in a video like this is basically if I die with Razor once, I cannot use him forever and I have to replace him with someone else and so on and so forth until the game becomes unplayable or too hard. We actually just reached the member goal, we got 5 members and now we will increase the difficulty of the challenge another new difficult rule which is gonna make the game even more fun and challenging for me and after we lose all the characters and the game is unplayable anymore for me uh, I will just make this my main account and maybe spend, maybe roll and so on and so forth. So that's the one life challenge if you guys didn't know. It is very fun, join my streams, we have had a bunch of close encounters and yeah. Thank you so much for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, subscribe for more Genshin Impact content. Now again I will say more so do scripted videos instead of these ones. But it is what it is, I didn't have too much time to make a scripted video today, but I hope I will eventually maybe do a follow-up video on this with a script. But yeah, that's basically it, thank you so much for watching, subscribe again for more Genshin Impact content, like the video if you enjoyed it, and join my Discord as well, we have over 700 active members there, and as always, bye bye until next time, see ya!